I'm Rick Hope, pastor of First Baptist Church, Lillian, Texas. This is your daily devotional thought for the day, brought to you by First Baptist Church of Lillian and No Compromise Ministries. I want to read to you two scriptures. First of all, Hebrews chapter 11, verses 8 through 10. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out to a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing where he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him with the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Then I want to read to you from Genesis 12, 1 through 5. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get out of your country, and from your kindred, and from your father's house, and go to a land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation. And I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. And I will bless those that bless you, and curse those that curse you. And in you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed, as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abraham was sent in time to his own when he left Abraham. His wife and Lot, his brother's sons, and all their sons, and all contents of that house might seem a mystery. It's not a mystery to me. I knew the couple that lived here, Wafield and Laverne Brown. Many a time I visited with them in their living room. I was there to pick up Wafield when he went to see the body of his wife Laverne for the last time. And I came to this house one last time, not too long after Wafield had passed away. For the last few years it's been locked up and except for family members, nobody has entered in. So a lot of people drive by who probably had not lived in this area and wonder about this house. Who lived in it? What were they like? What were they doing? And you know what? There are houses like that all over our little town. Houses that you wonder who lived there. What were they like? Where did they go? Are they still alive? They become a mystery. Imagine walking into a house you've never been in. Imagine walking in wondering what were you going to find? Would you find treasure? Would you find memories? Would you find just a cleaned out house? Would you, in some cases, find rattlesnakes or rats waiting to reach you? See, the thing is that a lot of times we don't like to venture into the unknown because we're afraid of what we'll find. We're afraid of what will be out there. So we like to line our ducks up in a row. If we decide we're going to move, we like to find out exactly what the pay scheme is going to be, exactly what the benefits are going to be, exactly what's going to happen. But when God calls us, He doesn't necessarily want us to look and make sure all our ducks in a row. He doesn't want us to make sure we know what lies ahead. He wants us to just follow him in faith and trust him that no matter what, he's not going to take us any place that will harm us. He's going to take us someplace where his name will be glorified through us. That's what happened to Abram. Abram was made a great nation simply because he followed God in faith. Maybe you're wrestling with a decision this week. You don't know where God is calling you or what God wants you to do. And he's putting the thought in the back of your head, but no, that seems too crazy. No, that seems too outlandish. No, I can't do that. Maybe you can't, but God can. And there's no telling what will happen in your life when you submit to his good and perfect will. It's called faith.